I'm gonna just play a clip for you before the video starts. Hopefully this don't get me demonetized, but if it do, just remember, I prioritized your mental health over my money, and I don't do that often. So here we go. Hey yo, what the f If you are a bit confused about that TikTok, let me just break it down for you real quick. It was a woman combing her pubes. Just let that sink in for a second. Also, here's another clip. That is a woman braiding hey, her pubes. And I'm here today to talk to you about this. Because I saw on my For You page and god damn, that ruined my day. And so I also want to ruin your day too. This woman, this normal looking woman, decided for whatever reason, it was a good idea to grow her pubes out to knee length, comb them, and then braid them. And not only that, but then put it on the internet for everybody to see, which is just mind boggling. And after I watched this and I was done throwing up, the same question came into my mind as a question that has come into your mind. Is this fake? Is it all for content? Did she just wake up one day and decide, yes, today is the day I will become famous on TikTok for braiding and combing my pubes? Yes, this is what I've always wanted. And today, I'm going to do it. Because why would you show your face on content like this? Now, every time you walk down the street, you're just going to be recognized and be known as the pube combing lady. And Lord forbid if any of your employers do a background check into your digital footprint and content you've put out in the past, you're never getting a job well a normal one you could always just become a professional pube comer man these kids on tiktok and the word i really should be using is the word everybody because everybody has seemed to forget what a digital footprint is because if your profile is public that means the public can see your content i don't know how much more obvious they can make this for you guys although i shouldn't be saying you guys because all my subscribers intellectuals geniuses huge fucking schlongs if you want an extra two inches just subscribe no but that is crazy bro getting known for braiding your pubes like people have had some crazy claim to fame but this one is up there but it gets worse yes 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 you may be thinking how well she shows it in a dress and i ain't here to shame her but goddamn, it just looks like you took a shit and forgot to wipe but this has left me wondering does she walk around with that outside because she looks kind of proud about it but like surely not surely it's just for content the weird looks she would get in public if she walked around with her pubes dangling out because she would also be going full commando no underwear balls flopping about everywhere and like surely that's also a bit weird but there is one seriously defining feature about this woman that you're probably all thinking she's a bit older so she could be a mom and oh my god bro if i ever saw my mom on tiktok braiding her pubes i don't know what i would do so if she does have kids i just pray for them bro people be saying lana rhodes's son has it tough no the kids of this woman have it even more tough jesus christ but that's even if she has kids because honestly i i would not hit that if that shit was flailing around while i was hitting that no no i wouldn't even touch that respectfully though and me personally, I know braiding even just your hair takes a while. So the fact that she sat down and braided her pubes to be known as the pube braider, it, it's, uh, I, I, I honestly don't understand why the effort. You could put all that time into something productive that would make you go viral for good reasons. But when I go in the comments, all I see is just laughing emoji. When I'm over here throwing up. Because that shit is disgusting, man. How are you laughing at that? From her videos and just scrolling through her feed a bit, you can tell that she's Latina. So me, being the absolute idiot that I am, I googled, is braiding pubic hair a tradition in South America? Oh God. And let's just say... That was not the best thing to put on my search history. And look, man, I'm gonna get fake deep right now, okay? I'm 14 years old and this is deep. But kids and young people, especially on TikTok, are hella impressionable. And the way TikTok trends is going, I would not be surprised if this turns into the next trend. 
If motherfuckers are dumb enough to put corn on a cob on a fucking drill and then try and eat it as the corn is spinning, it wouldn't surprise me if they started growing their pubic hairs down to their knees. And also bro, if there are kids out here that are drinking detergent as a fun prank, well then it ain't a crazy idea to grow your pubes out super- I gotta stop saying pubes. Jesus Christ, bro. I cannot mention pubes and kids in the same sentence. Moving on, I did a little bit of research into the TikToks she's posted in the past and present. Just, you know, a little dibble-dabble around her account. And in her other TikToks, I noticed that she doesn't really rock this drip. I mean, you can't really call it drip, but you, you know what I mean. But this makes me think that she's just kind of doing this for a little bit of internet clout, which wouldn't be the most wild theory thrown out there. Like, bro, there's motherfuckers out here doing home invasion pranks, so this isn't the craziest thing you could do to get a little bit of internet points. I also noticed that she's tried to diversify and post other intellectual content for her viewers, like this one. This is the same woman eating a chili and an avocado and there's nothing wrong with eating those things. I'm sure those foods are great. In fact, I know myself, I had a burrito last night. But I'm not sure how much flavor rubbing a chili that hasn't been cut against an avocado actually gives the avocado. I mean, I don't know much about cooking, but I know that's not how you incorporate two flavors with each other. I mean, I don't know. Last time I did any sort of cooking, it was yes, instant wrong. Yes, this world is a numbers game and my god did this woman fall off her numbers have dropped down so far and as a failing youtuber that is slowly falling into irrelevancy i feel like it's my place to assess the possible things that could have led to this one she didn't want to be known as pube woman which is fair enough so she switched up the content she started making i guess you can say cooking content but i don't know if rubbing a chili against an avocado is cooking or she just didn't want to be laughed at she may have been recognized in the street as the pube woman she may have felt embarrassed ashamed and so she was like no no more i don't want to be the pube woman anymore okay that was my dream but that was in the past i want to move on now or finally she just had no fucking clue what was going on and just continued posting random shit because that essentially is what this woman's profile is but the thing that boggles my mind the thing that blows me away is that she has gained 643,000 followers all from just a couple of vids about fucking stroking her pubes because if you go to her most recent views bro they barely crack in a thousand views and on tiktok that is bad but eh, it's just numbers after all she's not getting paid off tiktok or anything which would be crazy imagine if she was getting paid to braid and comb her pubes that would be crazy if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It would help me out so much. Ah! Sorry, I don't know how to get your attention in any other way. But the second channel is out right now. The first video has just been uploaded. If you enjoy this channel, you will love the second channel. It is the link at the top of the comment section and in the description. Love you guys.